Efficient lighting control includes the sensible creation of groups and scenes. With LiveLink 1, all of this is effortless and we'll show you how it works in today's webinar. Hello, my name is Sebastian. I am head of the Lighting Management Competence Center at Trilux. Hello, I'm Marcus, Business Development Manager at Trilux, and your contact for all your questions about our light management system. If you want to maximize the energy efficiency and lighting comfort of your lighting system, there is no way around intelligent lighting management. Dimmability, light control, ambient lighting, and suitable time control can help you to save even more energy. We are able to switch individual luminaires into suitable groups and dim, regulate, or otherwise control them as a whole. The information on how the groups should be compiled, i.e., which luminaires are combined in which group, can come from your customer, the building owner, or already be stored in the lighting design. When creating groups, the rules of the familiar DALI bus apply, although some limitations must be observed, such as the maximum number of participants or the total number of groups. In our last video, we showed you how to recognize all participants using the LiveLink 1 app and the automatic bus scan. Today, we want to show you how you can customize these participants. Here, you can see all the participants found. 33 luminaires, one sensor, and one push-button coupler. All participants are combined into a G1 group and are already fully functional. The sensor and the push button already regulate the dimming of the lights to the preset 80%. Let's imagine that we have an open plan office here. In our example, the client wanted to divide the 33 luminaires found into two groups and fit them with a sensor. As you know, the sensor does not have to be in the same room as the lights. For example, a sensor in the corridor can also control the lights in an office. One sensor can also control two groups. To do this, we select the menu item Groups and see our group G1, which was created from the bus scan with its 33 participants. If I now want to add a new group, I select the red plus button at the bottom right and simply name the group G2 in our example. The group is created but is not yet filled with luminaires. I now select these from the G1 group by selecting individual luminaires here. They are highlighted in green in the app and flash as an acknowledgement. Or I select the Select All button at the top right and all the luminaires are selected at once. In our example, I would like to pull all long field luminaires into one group. Then I confirm by clicking on G2 and now see two groups, G1 and G2, divided into spotlights and linear luminaires. Proceed in the same way as with our sensor. I can identify the sensor via the Sensors tab. It announces itself in the room with a red flashing signal. However, the sensor now has two functions. One is constant light control, and the other is presence detection. It is currently still assigned to the G1 group. I select the type of control, can add a new group, select group G2, and the constant light control is assigned to both groups. I proceed in the same way with attendance recording. You have seen, creating additional groups is very simple and intuitive. We can now simply click on the G2 group and directly access, control, switch on and off. No problem at all. Other groups that you create can be configured and then controlled just as easily. Please note that we are also bound by the DALI limitation here and that no more than 16 groups should be created. Creating scenes is just as easy as creating groups, as we have just seen with Marcus. Scenes are the elementary component of our system. Everything that we control, all the scenarios that we want to create, all that runs via scenes. Scenes can be, for example, start of work or service and cleaning operation, or also central scenes such as central on or central off. I'll now show you how we create the scene. To create a new scene, we go to the Scenes menu item in the app, where we can already see the pre-configured automatic and off scenes on the screen. In the Scene menu, we now create a new scene by pressing the plus button and creating a scene, for example, with the name Relax. Once the scene has been created, we can now assign the groups that are to be addressed by the scene. 
die von der Szene angesprochen werden sollen. To do this, I select the groups as already created, group G1 and group G2, and can now define individual parameters for each group, which should then be set in the scene. As you can see on the screen, there are lots of different parameters that I can configure for the group. This includes, for example, presence detection, setting the background light, changing the brightness, or setting a color temperature. For our scene, I simply select a static brightness value of say 60% or even 61% for group 2 and change the color temperature to a pleasant 3500 Kelvin. I save the whole thing and could of course now transfer the parameters to other groups. In our example, this makes no sense because the spotlights here in the studio are not color-changing lights, and I save the values for the relaxed scene. And as we can see, the values have been adopted here in the scene screen, and we have now also created the relaxed scene in the overview. If you are unhappy with your configuration, if you no longer like a scene, or if you need to change the groups, you can of course easily undo this and delete scenes and groups. I'll show you the whole thing now and start with the scene by selecting the scene menu and opening the menu for delete. Set default or apply scene by pressing and holding as you can see below. I delete the relax scene that I have just created and confirm this. As you can see, the scene has now been deleted. And I now do the same with the groups by selecting the group menu, selecting the luminaire groups and deleting our group G2, for example, by holding it down for a long time, as you have already seen with the scenes. The luminaires that were previously in group G2 are now available again as unassigned luminaires and can be reassigned to group G1 or new groups as just learned in the groups. Creating individual scenes or groups is no problem at all. But if you still have any questions, please write to us. Simply go to livelink1 at trilux.com. And if you like the video, leave us a few likes and subscribe to our Trilux YouTube channel, where there is always news about LiveLink and our light management systems. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.